What's up everyone? I am the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. What's happening everyone? So, I want to talk a little bit about uh, my love of video games and uh, just a little history of some of my favorite systems and then I want to talk about uh, some new things that I'm looking forward to and what I think that might be coming up uh, soon, I hope. Uh, Little little thing for me, a uh, little thing for me. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> My man, every, does everybody message and okay? Maybe I need to learn to turn my phone off. So when I was growing up, I pretty much had uh, I my I I had my cousins that lived around the corner from me, a little older than me, but they always get some really cool toys. Uh, we in the early '80s, uh, I went. I'd go over there and play Atari. I guess this was maybe 81, so I was like seven years old or something like that. And uh, I would go over and they'd had an Atari 2600. And, uh, my, my first thing I ever played, I think, was like Combat or, or Asteroids. Uh, now, mind you, the arcade was a big thing for me. Pac-Man was like my... I was like anywhere there was a Pac-Man machine. Um, that, was, that was just awesome. Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Galaga. And we'll get in a little bit of that... Uh, We'll get into a little bit of that later, but uh, yeah, those were always my favorite. Uh, but I, um, one day, my dad came home, and uh, he's like, "Listen, I got something for the for the house." He's like, "Don't touch this; it's expensive." And it is, and I was like, "Oh, we got an Atari." He goes, "No, we got an Intellivision," and he set an Intellivision down on the uh, thing. He goes, "This is, you know, I think it was like this was two hundred dollars. Do not touch this unless we're here." And I was like all excited. I'm like what's this about? I'm like, this is an Atari. I, this is something different. And, uh, of course, the pack-in game was Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack, the old shifty-eyed dealer. And, uh, I, I always thought that game was, was, was weird as a kid, but it kind of helped me learn a little bit about cards. Not too much, because, I don't know. But I used to mess around with it, place bets, and, you know, or, you know, obviously pretend to. And I, I really thought it was just a a quirky little game, and I, I would just always try to make the the um, dealer mad, you know, because <laughs> he always had the mad face, and it, it was just fun for me. Well, moving on, I don't want to dwell on a bunch on this, but after that, you know, he got ended up getting an Astro Smash, and Astro Smash had a, you know, basically it was a shooter, space shooter, similar to a Galaga, but it was like you had a little tank tread with a gun on it, and it would go back and forth and shoot you know, falling bombs and UFOs and, and asteroids. So to me, it was like an upgraded asteroids. And I was like, wow, this is this is really fun. And then my dad would sit and play. And so we try to get see how far we could get in the different levels. And you, had, you know, in the, it would change colors. And back then, the graphics we were like, we were blown away. And, and, and you know, it, now you kind of realize that was the first 16-bit processing machine. You know, or, you know, maybe not graphically. I don't know how that works. But, but it was the first 16-bit machine. It just, you know... It had kind of like um, blocky graphics, but they were still a little bit better than uh, than Atari. And uh, so, and I started becoming a real fan. And then we got bowling and uh, and and golf, and then baseball. Um, bowling usually my mom and dad would play all the time. I would play with my mom. The three of us would play. Uh, real intricate game, really cool game to play. And then we ended up getting. Um, what was the next one we got? So then baseball, that was something that really me and my dad played, and I would get mad. He would <laughs> he'd kind of yell at the TV, and it, but it, in a fun way, you know, like it, it was just uh, it was just you 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 know you'd start stealing a base, and my dad'd be like, "Don't steal a base. That's not you know you shouldn't be doing you know." And I try to run and get a base, and he'd get me out, and then you'd do the you know the going back and forth, uh, you know, running and throwing it base to base, and go sports. No, but <laughs> but I had so much fun on that, you know. And uh, anyways, that was my first video gaming memories, and it was just fun stuff, you know, playing with like my family, playing with uh, my friends, and I kind of kept that up. I had a, like a real passion for in television. It's always been in my life, um, you know. Look look at how, look how crazy I am. Like I had I had made all these like you know uh, cut and paste posters, you know, years ago. Well, not too long ago, probably like five or six years ago, I guess. Um, and, uh, when I redid, you know, my game room, I, I kind of just, I hung them up and framed them 
yeah, they're not the greatest. If you see them up close, there you can tell they're just some amateur kind of put. But you know, I probably can make some better ones now. But it, it's just some of my memories, like the bowling game, the baseball game, Burger Time. Oh my goodness, a lock and chase. But th that was just my first gaming memories, you know. And then even when the NES came out, I still played my Intellivision. And I remember even like there was another friend of mine that still loved his Intellivision, and then we were trading games to play. Um, so we were playing uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and and um, and a couple other ones, and <laughs> as well as is playing Punch Out and Super Mario Brothers and and uh, all the all the cool Nintendo games. I, Robo. Then we get into NES. Uh, Robo Warrior was like the first game that I ever bought with my own money, because uh, I had like I, I remember I was me and my buddy were delivering flyers to a pizza place and they were paying us and we did it for a week. And I got just enough money to to to, to get, afford a, a thirty dollar game because <laughs> you know the good ones were like fifty, you know, and then um, you got cheap ones were twenty nine ninety five, just kind of the off. But I got that uh, J Jellico game called uh, uh, Robo Warrior, and it's like this full world Bomberman style RPG ish, but action kind of. Anyways, look it up. Great NES game, one of my favorites. And then uh, after that, you know, you, you know, everybody was getting, you know, Sega Genesis and 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 doing the whole uh, Super Nintendo. Everybody was pulling Street Fighter on Super Nintendo because it looked all realistic. You know, the, this whole thing where the fighters did this. We're like, whoa, look at that animation. And then when you got into that, um, I was like, but look at this underdog coming in, and it was Turbo Graphics 16, which. I didn't know. I know now. Um, it was the PC Engine remarketed for North America to be, you know, more snazzy, more hip, and they thought. <laughs> and it was, and I was like, I'm going to buy that. So, you know, at this point, I, you know, I'm coming right out of, almost out of high school, I think, at the time, yeah. And I was working a job at <laughs> replacing watch batteries and doing watch repair under the escalator at Sears. <laughs> Remember those things? And then the other side was the engraving station. But uh, I remember saving up enough money and uh, and buying a, a, a TurboGrafx-16. And I had Keith Courage and Bonk's Adventure um, and Air Zonk, which is, like, to me, is one of my favorites to this day. Just a great shooter. And, and obviously that's the king of shooters, right? Uh, real cool games like Natopia. Uh, my first uh, ever experience playing Yeast, Book Ones and two, Book Ones and Twos? How do I talk? Uh, yeast book one and two, and then they had yeast three and yeast four, but like yeah, those that was like a big part of my life. And I remember after that, right before quitting that job, <laughs> I ended up uh, saving up enough money to buy a Turbo Duo, and it came with like I think six games, a bunch of gift cards, and but it had the CD and the Turbo chip and all the upgrades, and and Air Zonk was the mascot. And I was like, oh, man. And, it, and I know it was failing, but I still bought and ordered stuff from catalogs. And then after that, you know, but it's it's fun to do that because you're just kind of rooting for that that smaller company, right? That that company that's just not quite made. But it, I don't know. It was something about it. It was quirky. It was neat. It was different. Nobody else wanted it. I had it, you know. I, I was the only one of my friends that had it. They're like, oh. And I eventually did get a Sega Genesis. I loved it. I, I got into Super Nintendo, too. And that's when I really started just collecting everything for gaming. And then um, so many years later, <laughs> I go to... Uh, you know, reading in gaming magazines about the 3DO. Yeah, the 3DO was a failure. I know that. Uh, a lot of the games, I think it was a lot of the game developers that didn't want to make games, or they made them real cheap and fast, and it was supposed to be the first 32-bit system. Um, it came out. Um, it failed. I read it in the magazines, yeah. But then I, I came to uh, to uh, a store called Myers here. that, that came, We went, went to Myers, uh, I think me and a friend or something, and it was right after, I think, I think this was close to 95 or so. I believe it was right after my dad had passed. And I was kind of bummed. And I remember we were, I think we were hanging out around the corner at my aunt's house. And uh, and I, I think I went to Meyer that day for something to pick something up. And I saw they had a 3DO on clearance. I want to say, I, I don't remember. It was like 79 bucks or 100 bucks. I, I, it, was, it was cheap. And all the games were like 15 bucks. And they had Need for Speed, Road Rash, Way of the Warrior, and I can't remember the other one, but I, I, I was like, screw it. I just need something to get my mind off things. A new console's fine. It's on clearance. Whatever. It's cheap. 
picked all that up. And I remember taking it over to my aunt's house and we were all playing Need for Speed. You know, back then we're like, look at these graphics, they're insane. And just uh, driving and getting pulled over by the cops and, and, and crashing into people. And we were all just laughing hysterically. Once again, just everyone hanging out. And having a good time, and even though it was my mother, my cousins, and my aunt, you know, it was just kind of, the, it was, it's always fun to have the whole family get together and do that. And then we got into, uh, after that, you know, PlayStation came along, kind of crushed them, really smoked them out, and that was like the new thing, you know, uh, was PlayStation. Of course, I did get into that. I eventually did get one of those. Um, but I, I still, like, I hold a good passion for my 3DO. I still have a lot of my boxes and original games. There is some good games for it. I mean, looking back, yeah, they, maybe some of them don't hold up. A lot of them are really terrible. and But some of them are just some nostalgia for me, and I like it. So it's like, I don't care. I, will, I like it, you know, and I want it. So then after that, you know, then you start getting into the, the modern consoles, and we were not going to go through that because that's the time we're in. You know, the 360, the PS2, uh, SSX Tricky, oh my goodness, uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, um... All, the, all those cool, uh, older, you know, um, that generation, whatever generation that is. Is it the Pepsi generation? Or was it the Pepe Ch Pepsi challenge? Ah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so after that, I, I, I don't want to go really long on this. So after that, you know, I, you know, I, I really like the games. And then uh, I, I'd say the last big console I bought, beside, well, I just bought a Switch uh, earlier this year. So... So yeah, I mean, Switch was the last big thing I bought. You know, I have an uh, Xbox One. I you know played Red Dead Two and Grand Theft Auto and all that stuff. But you know, I just started getting to the point where I I was playing. Me and my friends were even playing, pulling out the old television and playing a rounds of baseball. And we pulled out a projector screen and had that going at my old house. And then when I moved here, we I had a big projector TV. That, you know, like the backlit project floor standing ones. And I moved it downstairs and I hooked that up. And then we had a gaming thing on a projector, then we had a the, the, television on that, we'd play baseball and bowling, and we'd laugh try, trying to uh, steal bases and slide, and and then the flashback came out, what, like a few years ago, um, and I was like, man, I really wish they would just come out with a new Intellivision, like, it's it's my favorite thing, I'm like, how could they ever do that, I go, man, because you, you had the overlays and all the buttons, none of the emulators really worked good because you had to have one of these, I mean, the flashback unit was cool, but, and then finally, you know, I was like, if they did it, they'd have to make it to where you pressed a button, and it was like a phone, and a digital overlay came, you know, and I like this, I, and it, it is kind of, there's some improvements that can be made, because this hurts your fingers a lot, that ridge, these hard buttons were, they, it gets tiresome on those, and I know that, that, that it needed those upgrades, but, but I still liked it because of nostalgia, and I just like it, and, uh, so then when Keith Robinson passed and then uh, Tommy Tallarico came up and, 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 uh, and uh, bought into the company, acquired the company, you know, became CEO of that company, and a bunch of the original people still being there. And since, you know, Keith was there, you know, they came with Tommy and, 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 and formed, uh, you know, in television entertainment. And then he makes that announcement. And everybody right now, I mean, not everybody, there's actually a lot of great, like, uh, people that get it and just know that it's just old school arcade style party games, simple stuff to play, you know, um, it's, you know, we know it's not graphical, like, but I'm legitimately excited for this machine, legitimately want this just because I know what it is. I know it's not a flashy system with an, an insane microchip or whatever the insides are made of. I don't care about that. I never did. I own a 3DO, but I'm just saying... I, I just like that old style stuff, and then I was like, man, I wish they would do, bring back like my Astro Smash and the bowling and the stuff I used to play with my dad and my mom and my cousins and now my friends and baseball. They do Major League Baseball. All this is happening, and that's why I'm excited. Do I personally care? Well, I kind of do because I I'm just I'm I'm a fan. I'm a big fanboy of friggin' in television, dude. But. Even though this is a newer company, and you know, and it's still got some original people, though, but I, I, I'm wishing them, they're the, the new underdog, and I'm just another underdog, quirky, different council that I'm rooting for, and that's the only reason I'm rooting for it, you know, which is the greatest reason you just like something. It's not a scam to me. I'm not going to get scammed. I can return my money if I want to on a, on a pre-order. I'm not going to. I, I, you know, if it comes out and lasts 
two, two, three years or, or less, like the 3DO, I still want it. I still want it. I'm not, I'm not getting uh, duped. Uh, I'm not getting paid. I'm not a shill. I'm just legitimately an excited old school gamer. If you're not that, you probably don't want it. You're probably going to talk a bunch of crap. And then that crap kind of snowballs to other people going, well, this must suck, you know. And it doesn't. It's just a new idea. It's a quirky, new, different kind of console. And if you probably weren't an, a fan of this, you'd probably be not going to like it. If, you were, if you're not a fan of old school, pick up and play simple arcade style games, maybe one screen maze games, simple stuff, biplanes. You know, uh, simple things like Astro Smash. You know, it, yeah, it's not PS5 graphics. You know, it's not PC graphics. No, it's old school graphics in a newer way. That's all it is. And then, like, those... Tri in my family's big on playing, like, the trivia games and, like, party games all the time. Board games all the time. And I'm always like, uh, I'm breaking another board game. Oh, God. You know... But now they got stuff like Blank Slate. They have the thing like Bomb Squad where everybody gets a screen. You can download uh, the app. So if people aren't about the controller, they can pop it up on the screen. So like trivia games, you got everything like, whose turn is it? Well, I think this. Oh, you have to draw this. And you're drawing on with a, you know, your finger on, on the screen. I just think that's cool. Everybody getting their own screen. The quirky controllers. I'm in. And I will be in. I'm not going anywhere. I love all gaming, but in television, old or new, I'm all in. And that's my history on video games. You know, I've played everything from... <laughs> i played everything from the Sega Genesis, like all my favorites here. I obviously want to get more, but those are really going up. Um, my Xbox stuff's actually over there. I'm kind of redoing that si this, this way. This side, I'm looking at the monitor. That side. So I still have my original, like, favorite original Xbox games, like my SSX Tricky, my Atari, <laughs> it's funny, I got my Tato collection, Atari collection, and Television Lives, um, NHL 2004, um, anyways, and then for, I got, like, uh, some PS2 stuff, I'm not gonna get into all that stuff, and then I got my 360 stuff, and then, you know, I got my Atari, I got a nice big uh, Nintendo collection, I did sell a lot of that, because a lot of it was just kind of filler that I didn't, like, I... I got, like, most of this stuff. I got a lot of Wii stuff. I got, actually got more upstairs, but uh, I still actually play my Wii. And, uh, and Turbo Graphics. Ton of Turbo Graphics. Ton of PC Engine. I'm trying to collect all original 125 for the Intellivision. I still currently buy the homebrews for Intellivision. You know, there's over 100 homebrews. Anyways, I'm not an idiot. I, I'm not a, a shill. I'm not whatever else people are going to say. I'm just legitimately want every gaming console <laughs> so this comes out i'm getting it and i think it's just going to be fun is it going to be next generation insane no it's not <laughs> so you don't get it but don't hate me for it i'm just a person that loves video games and just likes to have fun that's it and that's all i have to say until next time and we got a lot of surprises for you on the channel. I'm about to redo a bunch of stuff here, so I got an insane backdrop until this is all done. So uh, it's going to be pretty sweet because I'm going to add some new shelves. Because um, I want to get all my Switch and my Xbox stuff behind me. Right now I have all that upstairs. I got some of it over there. So look forward to that. And uh, I have another Switch review on the new Raiden Remix game. <laughs> Wait till we get into that. But until next time, gosh darn it all the heck. Oh, please like, <laughs> and then also please subscribe. Why do I always forget that? Don't listen to this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. We'll see you in the next one. I'm not taking the elevator or doing anything silly. Okay, I'll do this. Remember Sears? They always go, that you go get the portraits done, They like, and you'd be like, always looking to the left. What's happening on the left? Anyways, see you later. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey, if you haven't got the new merchandise, there's plenty left and a lot of new designs and cool stuff. 
So check it out. You got your tab sponsored t-shirts. You got your multicolored. We got we got the uh, purple collection, the teal collection, the yellow collection, the orange collection, the sports Detroit Tigers collection. We have red wristbands. We got the green and black. We got crazy different color hats, all different colors. We got uh, oh, we got the merchandise available nowhere t-shirts. We got the DJC with a wall of tab behind it. And if you act now, any purchase, you will also get, I subscribe to this channel and didn't even get this lousy t-shirt. I'm trying to get it in the thing there. Look at that. Remember, this stuff's available nowhere, so get yours now.